Today we're going to discuss boundaries because boundaries is something that I mention in almost all of my videos. I honestly believe that it's the foundation of who we are. It's, it's us becoming aware of ourselves and establishing our likes, needs, wants and dislikes. And without healthy boundaries, you end up feeling very resentful, very bitter, very unhappy and just empty. So if we don't establish these and maintain them, then we're never going to reach our full potential. And I've made a video in the past about what boundaries are, how to identify them and set them. But I don't think that I've spoken in, in detail about how to maintain those boundaries. And in order for us to maintain them, we need to be able to say no and feel comfortable with that. But it's not just uttering the words no. It's understanding why we find it so difficult to say no. And when we do, why is it so hard for us to maintain it? And that comes from a certain number of past traumas or things that have shaped us as a person that's really holding us back in maintaining our boundaries. So if this is you, then you can really take away a lot from this video. If you haven't been to my page before, welcome. I'm Hamasa and I look at mental and emotional well-being as well as personal development and just day-to-day -day issues. Please subscribe to my page so that we stay connected and introduce yourselves in the comments below. You may not realize it, but there's a number of things that's really holding us back into setting boundaries or really maintaining them. And they may be some subconscious beliefs or they may be conscious ones, but they're just like under the surface, underlying things that you naturally or just have grown to believe or expect or accept. And so it's stopping you or driving certain behaviors and mannerisms where you find it difficult to apply your boundaries. And the reason being, one of the first things that really stops people from setting boundaries or they find it difficult is that they feel that having boundaries will make them selfish. So if you're set in your ways or you accept and don't accept certain things, you might come across very rigid, very difficult, and you don't really wanna be seen as that. So therefore you'd rather just not have any boundaries but let me just be honest with you having boundaries is one of the least selfish things that you could be doing so in order for you to establish healthy boundaries you need to understand the difference that if you don't and this is this might be a little bit of a hard truth that if you don't set boundaries then it's what makes you selfish because most people would rather feel resent than feel guilt. And that's why they don't wanna set boundaries. And an example of that would be that if you've committed to something which you don't really want to do, but let's say a friend has asked you to go out with them somewhere and you've said yes. So you've committed to go out with this friend, but you don't actually want to go, you don't feel like it, and so you're gonna go because if you say no and you let them that down, you then start feeling guilty and you'd rather feel resentful. So you're gonna go, but you're gonna be really annoyed. You're gonna think that, why is this person expecting me to be here? I don't really wanna be here. I've got a lot of things to do. I'm not having fun. I'm not enjoying myself. In reality, all of this could have been avoided and you may have felt a little bit guilty when they felt a little bit let down, but you chose to feel resent over guilt. And that's one of the issues here where it's what's more selfish to feel, resent or guilt. Obviously resentful is way more selfish. So in order for you to be able to be less selfish, you have to set some healthy boundaries. The thing is that once you've established healthy boundaries, you will not feel resent, nor will you feel guilt because you will know and understand that there is nothing wrong with sometimes having to say no. You don't owe anyone anything. And if you don't want to do something, you really don't have to. So the guilt aspect also goes away once you start practicing your boundaries. My next point would be, which links to the guilt aspect, is that most people don't feel comfortable with setting boundaries or maintaining them because they end up hurting people's feelings. And that's true in some cases that may happen and by no means am i here encouraging you guys to go around start being a mean horrible person and start hurting the people around you not at all 
but there are certain times that you may have to set boundaries and it may hurt some people's feelings but in the grand scheme of things what you're doing is that you are preventing in harming the entire friendship over not hurting them that one little time because if you don't keep speaking up for yourself and you keep bottling things up and you keep people pleasing and doing things to make this other person happy you will build up this resent and you will build up this anger towards them because you feel that it's a one-sided relationship and then you'll end up blowing up in their face and the other person doesn't really deserve that because they don't really know what they're doing wrong since you've never really set any healthy boundaries so that could really harm the friendship in the bigger scheme of things or you might just start feeling really distant you might start pulling away from the other person because you just feel like you're doing too much or they expect too much of you and you're done and if you do that again it's not really the other person's fault because you have not really spoken out about your boundaries and so in the grand scheme of things again you're losing out more here than like ripping a band-aid and just saying something at the time to set a boundary and they may find it a little bit offensive but it's nothing that they can't get over yet if you lash out at them unexpectedly that's something that they may not be able to get over my next point to you guys would be that if people are very inquisitive or they're asking you questions that you don't really feel comfortable in answering or you don't really want to answer then you really don't have to just because someone asks a question that does not mean that it's your duty to then give them an answer and if there are things that you don't want to feel to share with people then you really don't have to and there's nothing wrong with that now look at it this way if they're giving themselves the right to ask you this even though they know that they may make you feel a type of way about it then you for sure have a right to not have to answer them because that's if that's their boundary you're more than welcome to set yours and say no i don't need to answer that and it's not about going and saying just avoiding and acting silly and just be like you know what i'm not gonna i'm just not gonna answer you and just look at them blankly it's just about finding ways and communicating in a way that you don't really are you're not really that forthcoming with the information and you don't really owe them that you can just say just i don't really want to discuss this right now it's not something that i feel comfortable in talking to about and there you go you're setting your boundary that's that's there is nothing wrong with that and also you have to understand that they also will ask these things and you shouldn't get mad at them wanting to know wanting to ask that's just them and they have a right to ask if they wish to ask but this is where you come in and you set your healthy boundary and you say, well, no, this is where I'm not comfortable with anymore. And I'm going to let you know that. And it's also their right to not like you not being so forthcoming with the information. And again, that's within their right. If they don't like how you are responding to that, that's okay. You are not responsible for how they feel. That's not your issue. You're only responsible for how you feel. Which brings me to my next point and it flows in beautifully because it's what we get annoyed about and most times if we haven't established healthy boundaries we get really frustrated and feel like people are really taking the mick out of us by constantly asking or expecting or wanting you to do things commit to things helping them out whatever and the thing is that if you've always, that's not really their fault because people's boundaries are m very different to our own. So what's acceptable to them may not be acceptable to you and vice versa, but that doesn't mean that they're doing anything wrong. People are allowed to ask you whatever they may want to ask of you, doing something favors, whatever that is, that's okay to ask. But then as long as you're aware that you could also practice your boundaries and set them wherever you wish to, then really there is no issues. People can ask. They're allowed to ask. You don't have to just comply by that or do anything for them. And you also need to accept and understand that your friendships and the people around you, you don't constantly, you don't have to constantly do things for them in order to maintain the relationship. It's not about you doing them favors for them to want to be friends with you. 
that's a bonus if you do help out here and there but otherwise the friendship should come that you guys just make each other feel good and there's trust and mutual respect it's not about you do doing things for them so people are okay to ask things of you you practice your boundaries and you set it and that's okay because if you don't do that and you don't establish these healthy boundaries we know that that's we know how that's going to end up which is us just bottling things up and then being very very bitter and angry and lashing out next point is to really stop self-punishing or being so hard on ourselves if we do something wrong mistakes and things happen that's okay but as long as you understand that if i make a, something if i do something wrong or i make a mistake then all I have to do is own it and apologize, but I can't self-punish and beat myself up. Owning something just gives you that freedom and control back. If you are holding yourself accountable, then no one has the right to point fingers at you because you know what you've done wrong. Accept what you've done wrong, acknowledge it, and move on. Do This may not be very clear on how this will affect your boundaries, but let me give you guys... A scenario what happens is that if you keep punishing yourself and keep putting yourself down for something that you do wrong and you're not clearly taking responsibility for that you're just like I'm such a terrible person you know you're just drowning and bathing in just like sorrow and you just feel so bad for yourself is that the boundaries get crossed because then the other person suddenly starts feeling guilty for how they've made you feel and you're now becoming the victim and so all these boundaries are crossed and you, you're playing the victim just so you're so conscious of how they are feeling and you want to make sure that you want them to know that you feel so bad about this uh, because you feel responsible for their feelings. And that's not a clear boundary. For example, let's say if you are someone who is on the receiving end of someone trying to play the victim, let's say you point out something that someone does that you don't really like so you go ahead and you say you know what you did this the other day and it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable and instead of saying oh I'm so sorry I did that I'll be more conscious next time they turn around and say I'm such a terrible person I always do this I'm so shitty I'm so sorry so you immediately start feeling bad for making them feel so bad and making them feel so low about themselves so then you start apologizing by saying oh no no I'm sorry for making you feel this way and it's just very vicious cycle it's not you know, it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to take responsibility for them and then move on very cleanly. It kind of boils down to just us taking responsibility for things, owning it and setting clear boundaries. Now, this is a lot to digest and I understand that there's loads of different factors and things to take into account, but I honestly believe that having healthy boundaries are the basis of really establishing your identity and if we don't have those, all we, all we will do is build a lot of resent and bitterness towards the people who are closest to us. And it's just it's a way of life, if it's a way of we, how we feel about ourselves day to day if we have healthy boundaries. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you have, please like and comment on this video and please subscribe to my page so that we stay connected. And I would love to see you guys here again next week. Thank you for watching. Mwah.